superpower designing America's most badass fighting robot? You start by going to America's most badass tank designers. We're here at How and How Technologies in Waterboro, Maine to check out our custom designed tread base. The tread base grips the earth with two massive steel treads and also houses the advanced hydraulic power plant that powers all of the robot's actuators. We pulled our old treads out of a burned out skid steer and powered the robot with a lawnmower engine. As a result, it maxed out at two and a half miles an hour and the treads barely have any life left in them. We worked with How and How Technologies to design an entirely new tread base from scratch. And if it works, we're gonna ship it to California and build the rest of our robot on top. So you guys said you wanted badass. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> Holy shit. It's like a huge lawnmower with tracks on it. <laughs> yeah. The first thing you see I think is probably the tracks. These are ripsaw tracks. This is what we designed for the military. They're patented, they're very durable. They have rubber inserts for wear. That's gonna make the robot pretty unique, pretty stable. You have a better coefficient of friction, you have more grip on the ground. You'll be able to literally bulldoze the other robot. We were looking for a motor for you guys. Yeah. And we happen to find yeah. a GM 6.0 motor, 300 horsepower, the original motor from the Ripsaw. Oh, man. So we thought that was really cool to give you guys Look one of the that. original Ripsaw motors. Yeah, and nice. it's an American-made V8. It's an American-made V8. It should sound pretty mean, right? It sounds awesome. We all know you're as strong as your foundation is. Mm -hmm. Here is a 9-inch I-beam. The foundation of this robot is badass. What about that drive shaft in there? That doesn't look too safe. <laughs> if that thing's spinning at 4,000 RPM, well, it seems kind of in a precarious <laughs> position. Yes, well, like I said, the seat's not supposed to be here, but when it comes to engineering, you guys know that, that space claim is important and yep. things end up going yeah. where they have to go. There's a piece of steel that covers that. We call it the sausage saver. <laughs> it will save your sausage, we think. All right, so which one of you guys wants to be the first one to drive this? Guy's going to take it out for a spin first. I'm going to be driver of the robot, so I think I get the first ride. <laughs> OK, well, just to let you know, the corners are pinned. They yep. have to be for stability, Yep. having 8,000 pounds up there. So it's going to be a rough ride. All right. But it should be fun. Sweet. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. <laughs> Zero turns quite well. Yeah, it sure is tearing up the ground a lot. It's okay. Everything's fine. Nothing is broken. I think. Dude, what'd you think? This is amazing. <laughs> this thing's awesome. I feel like you could have like drilled a hole right through the earth with this thing. Yep, I think I started. <laughs> So it looks like the basics are all kind of buttoned up here. Uh, I'd love to get our computer controlled valves on and see how they do. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So I'm done. I'm I'm done. done. My job. I'm out. Get out of here. I think get so. out of here. Thanks, guys. <laughs> the track base works great. The Howe brothers are the best in the business at this, and they absolutely knocked it out of the park. However, the track base is only one part of the robot. We need to start testing with more pieces put together. So that's why we brought our more advanced computer-controlled valves to test on the track base before we bring it back home to California. Miles, how's it going over here? Uh, pretty good. So as you know, I've been working on this test fixture, and that mimics the pilot's controls. And so what I've done here is I've taken this control fixture and then connected it here to the control processor and over here to these computer-controlled valves. So the idea is we're going to take this system and replace the manual valves over here in the track base and see if our computer control works. Awesome. Well, it looks great. Are you ready to throw it on? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, oh what no. the fuck?
John just finished installing our custom valve manifolds and Miles wired them up. So now we're throwing Matt in the hot seat because we don't have a crash test dummy. And we're gonna start the process of becoming a robot. Freewheel valves are not energized, meaning they can pass fluid. So the start procedure is, okay, enable. You have to be a little careful bringing up any hydraulic system for the first time because it's the first time those hoses and fittings are seeing pressure. Hoses can burst, fittings can break, and it can really hurt people. All right, let's do it. All right. So getting inside this thing for the first time is honestly pretty terrifying. Hopefully I don't die. Matt? Yep. Look at us at all times, and if we say kill it, just kill it immediately. I'm actually gonna look at the hoses instead of you guys. But and... there's stuff that's been modified behind you. Okay, we'll just yell as loudly as possible. All right, I am enabling the valves. Valves are forward, you are clear to start. Oh God, okay. Engine starting, three, two, one. Nice work, guys. I didn't die. <laughs> yet. Awesome. The engineering process involves finding problems, then taking incremental steps to solve them. It's leaking from the bottom. We've tested the engine, and we've built pressure. But what we're looking for now is to see our tread move remotely for the first time. If, it, if we are successful, this will start moving. Something's, something's going to happen. Left track test. Everybody ready? Engine start in three, two, one. You okay? What happened? I don't know. I thought I heard like some kind of like <sighs> something's making weird noises. Is it? Drive shaft is okay. Oh, holy crap! It looks like the drive shaft coupler is cracked. So we're gonna pull it off, try to fix it, and keep going. Everybody ready? All right, left track test. Woo. A little backfiring there. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, I think these valves need a little more tuning, but we should probably do it back at the shop in California. Yeah, we've seen it run. I think we're good to pack it up and ship it out. All right, let's get out of here. We did what we came here to do. How and How did a great job. It drives really well under manual control. It needs a lot of tuning before we can really take it off the blocks. Right now, it's too dangerous to really drive on the ground. So we're actually just gonna pack this track base up, ship it off to California, and tune it at home.